Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video we shall take up two questions in which interest is compounded quarterly and we have to find amount and compound interest. Now when the interest is compounded annually, the formula for amount that we use is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N where A is the amount P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, N is the number of years. Now, compound interest is the difference between amount and principal that is A minus P. So, we can write CI is equal to A minus P where CI stands for compound interest. Now, there is another direct formula of compound interest that is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power n minus 1. Now either of the formulas of compound interest we can use depending on the question, what is asked in the question and what is given in the question. Now when interest is compounded quarterly, rate percent per annum becomes r by 4 percent per quarter and time that is n becomes 4 n quarters. That means the rate will be divided by 4 for each quarter and time period will be multiplied by 4 to get number of quarters. So in a year we know there are 4 quarters of 3 months each. So accordingly it will be 4 quarters in a year. Now there will be changes in the formula of amount and compound interest. The formula for amount will be A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 whole raised to power 4 A. CI formula will be A minus P. And then the direct formula of CI will also change. We will write CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 whole raised to power 4 n minus 1. So either of the formula of CI we can use depending on the question what is asked and what is given to us. Now let's take a first question. Mira lent out rupees 20,000 for 9 months at 20% per annum compounded quarterly to Mrs. Sharma. What amount will she get after the expiry of the period? So this is our question in which Meera has lent out rupees 20,000 that is our principal for 9 months. So that is the time period. Rate of interest is 20% per annum. The interest is compounded quarterly and Meera has lent out this money to Mr. Mrs. Sharma. Now she wants to know what amount she will get after the expiry of the period of 9 months. Now let's start with the solution. First of all let us write what is given to us. So principal is rupees 20,000 which Meera has lent out to Mrs. Sharma. Time period is 9 months which we can convert into year by dividing by 12. So 9 by 12 is equal to 3 by 4 year. Now rate of interest is 20% per annum. And our formula for amount is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 raised to power 4 N. Since it's quarterly interest, so we have used this formula. Now further we shall put the values. So we shall write 20,000 in bracket 1 plus 20 upon 400 whole raised to power 4 into 3 by 4. Here rate of interest is 20% and N is 3 by 4. So accordingly we have substituted the values. Now further 20 will divide 400 and we'll get 20 in the denominator. Further 4 and 4 will also get cancelled and we shall get 20,000 in bracket 1 plus 1 upon 20 whole raised to power 3. Now further we shall take LCM. So we shall write 20,000 in bracket 20 plus 1 upon 20 whole raised to power 3. Further 20,000 in bracket 21 upon 20 whole raised to power 3. And when we will solve it, we will get rupees 23,152.50 as the amount. So this is the amount that is rupees 23,152.50 which Mira will get after the expiry of the period of 9 months. Now let's take up second question. Find the amount and the compounded interest on Rs 24,000 for 6 months if the interest is payable quarterly 
at the rate of 20 paisa a rupee per annum. Now this is the question. We have to find the amount and the compound interest on rupees 24,000. That is our principal for the time period of 6 months. Interest is compounded quarterly. So in 6 months we will have 2 quarters. At the rate of 20 paisa per rupee which we will convert into percentage. Let's see how. Now let's start with the solution. First of all let us write what is given to us. So principal is rupees 24,000 on which we have to find the amount and compound interest. Time period is given 6 months that is 6 by 12 half year. Rate is given 20 paisa a rupee per annum. In a rupee we have 100 paisa. So we shall divide 20 by 100 into 100 percent which is equal to 20 percent per annum. Now we shall apply the formula of amount that is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 400 whole raised to power 4N. And if you remember this interest is compounded quarterly. So that's why R is divided by 4 and N is multiplied by 4. Now we shall put the values that is 24,000 in bracket 1 plus 20 upon 400 whole raised to power 4 into half. Here rate of interest was 20%. And n was half. So accordingly we have substituted the values. Now 420 will get cancelled. We shall get 20 in the denominator. Further 4 and 2 will also get cancelled. We shall get 2 in the uh, power. Now further we shall write 24,000 in bracket 1 plus 1 upon 20 whole square. Now after taking LCM we shall get 24,000 in bracket 20 plus 1 upon 20 whole square is equal to 24,000 in bracket 21 upon 20 whole square which is equal to rupees 26,460. So our amount has come rupees 26,460. Now further we shall find compound interest that is the difference between amount and principal. So we shall write 26,460 minus 24,000 which is equal to rupees 2,460. So our amount is rupees 26,460 and compound interest is coming 2,460. So this is it. Hope you have enjoyed watching the video and understood this question related to quarterly interest. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.